Okay, so as a lot of you know, Google and Warby Parker teamed up to start production on a new smart glasses line. Well, Warby Parker just showed a teaser image of the glasses, and when I show it to you, I really hope that you're just as shocked as I am. So let's start with the big one. Warby Parker and Google are building AI-powered smart glasses that combine more of Warby Parker's design chops with Google's Android XR platform. And the launch window seems to be sometime in 2026. And for a while now, they've had a teaser page up on their website describing a little bit about the glasses, and it's been up for a few months, but they just added a new image hinting that this is what the new glasses are gonna look like. So let's take a closer look at what they're showing here. So the first thing that really jumps out at me, on the sides, the stems of the glasses, you can see they are super thin. I mean, I don't know how they're even packing technology into these things with them being as tiny as they are. And even the front of the frames are really, really thin compared to everybody else out there. And if you look at the right side of the glasses, you can see that there's something circular there. More than likely, it's going to be a camera lens. And on the left side of the glasses, actually, it doesn't look like there's anything in there other than the connection for the hinge, which connects the stem of the glasses. So there is a big possibility that these are not the actual glasses. A lot of times what these larger companies are going to do is they're going to show a teaser and it's going to be a basic representation of what the glasses will probably look like but they're not the actual glasses themselves and it's really misleading and I hate it when companies do stuff like that. But this is potentially something that Warby Parker is doing, but it can't be confirmed until they actually reveal the glasses. So let's take a look at what we know so far. So first is going to be multimodal AI with Gemini that understands what you're seeing and hearing at the same time. So you're not just going to be using voice commands like you do with the Meta Ray-Ban glasses. It's more of a contextual awareness that's scanning your environment all the time. So like say you're at a store and you see a car seat, you can ask how you would install it in your car and the AI is going to walk you through it while you're standing there, just like Meta's live AI would, but without having to start it. It's also supposed to be featuring real-time translation. And I got to tell you, if they happen to support more languages than what the Meta Ray-Bans do, I'm going to be really, really excited about this. Meta just, they only support a handful of languages, and it's really a shame. So the glasses are going to be designed for all-day wear. They're going to utilize Gemini to accomplish pretty much all the AI tasks and it has been confirmed that they do have privacy features, including a light that activates when you're filming or taking photos, it's basically just so people around you know when you're recording something. So while Warby Parker is chasing style, lens cards going all in on functionality. And drop a comment down below and tell me which matters more to you, how they look or what they can actually do, because lens cart they made their choice. So their glasses are called Lens Carts B by Lens Cart. Horrible name. <laughs> I had to do like three retakes because it just does not flow naturally. But they're supposed to be launching by the end of December this year. And they're loaded with AI features that seem really, really, really amazing. So these glasses are supposed to be loaded with AI features and one of the biggest that, to me, I find extremely interesting is it's live environmental analysis. And all that means is that the glasses are constantly scanning your environment, everything in your field of view, and it's actually looking for objects and text and different products in real time. So if you ask it questions about something, it's already analyzed and identified what that object, whatever you're looking at, is. So... Apparently, you're supposed to be able to hold up a book and the AI will summarize and recommend related titles based on that book. So it's not, 
it's not just recognizing what the object is, it's understanding the context behind it, which I think is really pretty interesting. Now, it's also gonna have hands-free functionality for stuff like making payments. It can scan QR codes and make UPI payments using only voice commands. No phone, no wallet, just your voice. I think that's gonna be really, really fascinating. They don't have UPI in America. This, I know for a fact, is in India, but I do know that a lot of times here in the United States, when you go to a restaurant, they give you the receipt, they have that QR code at the bottom, and it would be really, really cool if they could find a way to link together that QR code with a system to make a payment through your glasses. Like if Meta could do something like that, that would be pretty epic, and I would be really, really happy to do something like that. So these lens cart glasses are also going to have health and wellness insights, such as calculating calories and protein in your meal and offer different dietary suggestions, which could be really useful if you're somebody who tracks your macros. But it almost feels like I'm going to have to worry that my glasses might be judging my lunch because God knows I have not been on point with my meals whatsoever. But it's also going to feature photo and video capture with a built-in Sony camera for hands-free content creation. And they're also betting that people will want their glasses to do more. I've linked some images, and to be honest, I think they really, really look good. Maybe not as sleek and stylish as the Warby Parker ones, but these really, really look good. I would be more than happy to wear these out in public. So I found this next story to be pretty exciting. Virtue, which is a tethered AR glasses company, looks like they're about to be announcing a standalone AI-powered smart glass at CES 2026 for release either in late 2026 or early 2027. Now, what makes this really unique is it can actually run AI tasks locally in the glasses. And the different things that we know so far, it's gonna have an advanced display technology with improved brightness and field of view compared to their current lineup. And it's also gonna have an AI assistant focus mode designed for hands-free information and services Similar to what we've seen before in others, but with Virtue's display expertise baked right into it. Their displays look really, really, really good. And potentially, the name of these glasses is going to be Vonder, based off of a trademark filing, and then also having offline AI that can just run through all the different AI scenarios right from your glasses. So I really think if they can combine these AI features with a much better visual experience than we can currently get, I think they really might be able to carve out their own lane. And congratulations, if you live in India, Meta just made the Ray-Ban smart glasses way more useful. They now support UPI light payments. So again, you look at the QR code, use a voice command, and you're all done. Plus, they did just add full Hindi language support and an AI voice modeled after Bollywood stars. So Meta's moving fast to localize globally. Well, they're moving fast to globalize in India. And I know a lot of our friends in Europe are still pretty ticked off that they're just not really getting many features out there at all. And Meta's really, really lagging behind. But anyway, I'm testing all these when they drop, so you'll know which ones are actually worth buying. 875 of you are already ahead of the curve on smart glasses. Let's hit 1,000 before these launch. Subscribe for the real reviews, not the hype, and I'll see you in the next one.